very best of luck. And apparently there's been some sort of instruction going on with Fenty, Judy Dench's daughter, as to how Judy can actually enter the competition. <laughs> so, uh... <laughs> <laughs> we'll come to I that. I want to know what I have to do. Well, it's all very simple. <laughs> text in. Just text the number. Um, and uh, Fenty can write that down for you and, and, <laughs> and text it. What is it, the BMW? I do it twice a week. <laughs> <laughs> this is fantastic. <laughs> this is amazing. Oh, <laughs> dear. Excited. Right, well, let's give you your proper <laughs> introduction. Not content with being an Oscar-winning actress and national treasure during the pandemic, Dame Judi Dench <laughs> became a TikTok star thanks to uh, her family. Uh, that's the help of her daughter, Finty, and grandson, Sam. So I'm going to read you a lyric. You have to finish the next lyric. Oh. So the first one is Jason Derulo's Let Me Take You Dancing. So I the line like is... Jason Derulo. You do. Let me take you dancing. You've nothing on tonight. <laughs> Actually, quite a good line. <laughs> so, Mum, on three, I want you to pull the worst face you can. OK, so the third and final one, the Jonas Brothers. Sucker. I'm a sucker for you. Be a sucker back for me. So actually, you say the word and I'll go anywhere blindly. That doesn't rhyme. <laughs> yes, yours was much better, we agree. Oh, uh, listen, it, that's so much brilliant. fun. And much to your fans' delight, the three of them have decided to team up for a special evening in the West End and they're joining us now to tell us more. Welcome, it's so good to see you. It's so hey. good to be here. here. It's lovely for us. Well, yes. Sam, I think, was it during lockdown that you moved in with your grandma and it was you that started to introduce the idea of TikTok? Did it take much convincing to get her on there? Uh, I don't think so. Uh, she was quite hesitant at first, had no idea about TikTok or anything, <coughs> but after a few videos and kind of some ideas rolled in, she was, she was well up for anything, was weren't you? He was a tartar. He was a tartar. Was he tartar? He drove me really out. strict. Uh, get to the... My, yeah. Oh, strict. Very strict. <laughs> you have to be. And I'd say, we'll do it now. He said, no, we can't do it now. You're not good enough. Do it again. <laughs> do it again. Do it again. Do it again. <laughs> so, I mean, this is, what's lovely is that this is one of those great things. That, I mean, lockdown was such a hideous situation. Um, but, um, but it was one of those nice things to have come out of it. And also, the ability for you guys, and you see this with sort of families all over the place, when would you have the chance to spend that amount mm. of time mm. together? Exactly. Well, we, we, I mean, we were, yes, we were lucky. Finch was, was not, not with us or anything. We were all, you know, separate, well, like everybody, but Sammy and I were very lucky to be together. And we, thank goodness for the phone. Yeah. Yeah. And FaceTime. <laughs> yeah. And FaceTime. Yes. Well, what is lovely is that you all are coming together and you're going, I mean, to, to, to everyone can see you. So this is the theatre. This is one night only. You're going to the Garrick Theatre. And this is an evening of storytelling, isn't it, Finty? So just to explain what people can expect if they come along. Yes, I think it's instead of, you know, somebody who's not um, part of our family interviewing Ma and uh, uh, prompting stories from her, you know, it's all three of us talking about not just Ma's experiences of things, but our experiences of Ma when she's doing stuff, and, <coughs> and it should be fun. And you and and things you do, and things that Sammy does too. Yeah. yeah. And it's a kind of celebration of the fact that, thank goodness, at last maybe, the theatres are going to reopen again. Yeah. Well, we talked to, uh, to you, and, uh, you know, the... Judy, uh, during during the lockdown uh, about the impact that it had on an uh, in, in industry that's so close to all of you. I know sort of, uh, uh, we've got Sam who's a bit more backstage, but, uh, but for you guys, such an important industry and, uh, and you were watching it fall to pieces. Yes, and, and <clears throat> not, only, not only actors, and, but everybody who works. I was very, very conscious of people who've been stagehands for 40 years at theatres. And, and, and crew and wig makers and, you know, everybody uh, has, has been suspended and not been able to work, as well as actors. And so, Sam, I mean, Phil so, just said it there, you, you know, you're normally behind the camera a little bit, so how are you feeling about getting out there on stage in front of a live audience as well? Because it's not like on TikTok, you can see the faces this time. <laughs> 
Um, absolutely terrifying, <laughs> but hopefully being with these two, it'll make it so much easier. But it's, yeah, it's the first time I think I've ever been on stage it, properly. And it, and it must be the first time we've all been together on stage, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, must be. I, I would Sammy, thought... very famously, when he was very little, uh, in his first nativity play, um, Sammy came on and everybody was, you know, sheep and shepherds and Mary and Joseph, and they were all waving and saying, hello, Mummy, hello, Daddy. And Sammy, who was a shepherd dressed in a dressing gown with a tea towel on his head, uh, <laughs> which we'd made, uh, just stood looking at the person next to him like that <laughs> and refused to acknowledge the fact that he was on stage, that we were there, that there was an audience, nothing. <coughs> so let's hope he doesn't do that on it the 22nd of June. There, yeah, it can only go up from there, Yeah, it definitely only go up from there. And, uh, and, <laughs> exactly. exactly. <laughs> Having said that, weren't, you were rescued um, uh, it, by Ed Sheeran's security team at Wembley, weren't you? Yeah, it was pretty mental. Uh, I was, I'm a big fan of his, and I waited right at the start of the line for his shows at Wembley, got all the way to the front, and everyone sort of went mental round me. <laughs> and then we met him a few days later, and he was like, oh, I saw you, you were being, like, crowded round, so I sent out my security for you. Amazing. Uh, Which and was Dame, so nice of him. Dame Judy, so, so for you, uh, who, who in your, your career have you been starstruck over? Oh, <laughs> how long have we got? Um, <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes, yeah, so, um, I, I was very, very taken by Morgan Freeman uh, and, and Finty suddenly gave me a tiny little model of Morgan Freeman that I had beside my bed for, for a very long time. In Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. Yes, in Robin oh. Hood, Prince of Thieves. And then we were... It, we were, we were together, weren't we? We were in. We were. At, we were at the Oscars, and we were sitting having a drink, and uh, Fint and I beforehand. And suddenly, somebody came in and knelt down beside us, and it was Morgan Freeman. <laughs> it was Morgan Freeman. <laughs> Oh, I haven't quite got over it. <laughs> it's so funny seeing someone as, as iconic as you <laughs> getting starstruck yeah. over people. And Finty, you had a bit of a moment with oh, Antonio no. Banderas, didn't you? Morgan Freeman. Oh, Antonio Banderas, oh. I nearly set light to him. <laughs> That's oh. fin that was Finty's um, turn. He, he, it was just after Evita had come out and uh, he asked me for a light for his cigarette and I leant forward with the lighter, <laughs> and I was literally like that, looking at him, and I thought, any minute now, I'm just going to set fire to him. <laughs> He's going to just go off in a puff of smoke. How lovely to be able to share all of, uh, all of those things uh, together, and, um, and also um, how lovely to be able to share some of, uh, of, your, of your grand's horse. I think that she, I know that you've got a passion for horse racing. You own Amsby, which is your, part of your name, Sam. Um, you've got so 21st. Yeah. Uh, Judy gave you some ownership. Have you got an ear? We, I've got the right ear or the right foot, <laughs> yeah, and then I think, I think Mars got, yeah. It's so well, lovely to talk to you. I've got the left, the left, <laughs> left ear, do you think? Uh, a Dench ear. and two Williams. It's 22nd of June, one evening only at the Garrick Theatre. Good to Thank see you guys. guys. Enjoy it. Bye-bye.